for you. This one is Angelic by Bodicea the Victorious. I have been loving this house, guys. Uh, thank you, Alan Burgess, uh, Beverly Hills Perfumery. Appreciate all the samples you've sent me. Uh, you have my head spinning right now with all the great ones that are that are out there. <clears throat> Hard to believe, too, that these have been out, you know, since the early, you know, 2011, 2012. They've been out a good, you know, six, seven years already. This one came out to us in 2012, so it's been out. I can't believe I haven't got my nose on it, but for the last couple weeks, I have been loving this stuff. I went through a full sample. I'm on my second one. I do have a bottle that I did purchase. It's quite pricey, but it is just an excellent, excellent fragrance. Nothing crazy beast mode, nothing wild, but man, this stuff is just compliment getter. It just works. So guys, again, let's get on with the review. 2012 release. Let's go uh, with the notes. You have clary sage, cardamom, and apple at the top. Dem uh, damask rose in the middle, papyrus, woodsy notes. And then for the base, you have patchouli, amber, cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, and musk. So it's complex like crazy, but it seems simple as well. Uh, just the first, first initial spray is so bright. To some of you, it may seem a little harsh uh, and maybe synthetic, but wow, this one, guys, it just, I know you get a lot of the cardamom and, and the clary sage. You know, it's a very bright, fresh, spicy, if that makes any sense. Uh, it is a, a woody aromatic, of course, so it does get kind of woodier towards towards the middle. Uh, but guys, this one is just, it's so bright. It has a little bit of like a fruitiness to it. Uh, and then, wow, this, this dry down and, and middle, it just gets so sweet. And that's where you do get that apple. I know the apple's at the top, but you do kind of get like the sweet patchouli, fruity apple with some of the bright kind of spicy clary sage. And, and cardamom in there. And guys, this one just really, I don't know. It, it's just so, it's different. It's crazy. Now, again, after two to three, two, maybe, maybe two, two and a half hours, I'm like, damn, where did it go? You know, I'm, I'm just not smelling it. I'm like, what are you talking about? $500 for what? And then someone will come up and they'll get kind of close and they're like, damn, what are you wearing? This shit smells so good. You know, I got a couple of guys that just love this stuff, but they'll never spend the money to, to get this fragrance, unfortunately, but it is just awesome. Uh, I really, really love this one. So let's get into performance. Your, your, your um, nose is gonna, you know, get a fatigue with this one. So after about an hour, hour and a half, two hours, maybe even two and a half hours, you're like, where is it? Then you'll pick it up. Then it'll kind of, uh, it just, it's always kind of there, but it just, it seems so soft on your skin until someone comes near you and they smell it. So don't be alarmed when you, when you first spray it and you know, 45 minutes to an hour, it's like, wow, it's so soft. It's really not. I think your nose just really, there's certain fragrances that just get so used to something that, that fatigue in there that it, it just, you can't smell it really. But man, the people next to you and around you are going to smell it and they're going to love it. This one really is a, is just a, a compliment getter. People really, really love it. Um, getting on with pricing, I think this one it sells for right around like the three, three sixty-eight. I think that's um, you know that's that's pounds. So I think it's right around the four four seventy-five mark. I'm guessing for the fifty mil, and I think it's close to like the seven seven fifty for for the hundred mil. So yes, Bodicea the Victorious, kind of like the Raja Dove. You know they're they're very expensive. But wow, they're just so complex. You can tell the ingredients in this are just used to the max and they're, they're really, really great. Um, but just an all around great fragrance. I don't get a lot of the rose. I don't really pick up too much floral. I, I really do get the brightness of that, you know, clary sage, uh, cardamom, like the spiciness, uh, the sweetness of that patchouli. It almost, I don't want to say it has a chocolatey vibe, but it's almost like a, if you can really, really sniff for it and smell it, there might be like a little bit of a dark caramel in there but it's really sweet but all that stuff mixed together it is just awesome and at the end again just sweetness woodsy uh, it is just awesome i know there's some vetiver and then it just kind of just settles in with some musk and it is just it's it's a really really great fragrance guys so again when you first spray it you may think it's just kind of simple but man let this stuff develop and you are going to be amazed it's it's really really nice so guys uh, let's get on with the presentation it's kind of simple for the money, you know, it's, it's not 
fantastic by all means, but it's just, it's enough and it's, it's nice. So there's your box, of course. Hopefully, I'm not going to get too close because I know it kind of comes in and out, but this will give you all the information. I did get a 50 milliliter. I'm starting to maybe be a little bit smarter with, um, I love the 100 mil bottles, but again, I'm never going to really go through a lot of these. So it's kind of smart just to hold back a little bit, save a hundred bucks or two and, and go with the smaller boxes, but, or bottles, I should say. There's the nice silk, of course. A lot of the perfumers and houses are going with that, just that really nice silk inlay to keep your bottle, you know, obviously nice and protected and, and keep it from being scratched. Now the bottle is where it is awesome. I love this. I love that shield that they put on there. The cap, I believe they say some, um, most of the caps I believe are the are plated 14 karat gold. Uh, the sprayer I'm not too impressed with, but it's it's decent. It's just not a... It's not a Raja spray or a Creed spray or nothing like that, but uh, but guys, there it is. I I'm telling you, this stuff is just, it's outstanding. It's a great fragrance. Sorry, the back of it's really pretty too. You get that angelic right there. But guys, I don't know why I didn't get my nose on this sooner. This one's from, I believe, the Black Collection, I think. So, angelic, Bodicea the Victorious, please. Uh, message my friend Alan over at Beverly Hills Perfumery. He is just, he's taking care of so many people. I remember when, geez, almost three, maybe four years ago, he contacted me. I know it's a family run, um, you know, business and everything, but he kind of started talking to me when he really started hitting the internet and really getting out there. And I was so excited. I knew he was going to do well just with his uh, customer service and his personality and just, uh, just a great, great guy. And really loves to help us out and has a passion for this fra uh, fragrance, you know, passion as well. So that really, that really makes someone who's selling fragrances and really in this fragrance world, a uh, better uh, fragrance, you know, person just because they love it too. They're not just out just to sell it, make money and say, Hey, this one's great. And all that stuff. I mean, he really knows his stuff and it's uh, it's just a, you know, a great guy. So Alan, thank you so much again. Angelic guys, get your schnout on this one it is Awesome, awesome fragrance. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss too much in there. Again, these are kind of not edited, so thanks so much for bearing with me. And we will talk to you soon, Rise Frakes 34. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm getting some pretty good subscribers. Um, I'm almost at that 7,000 mark, pretty hard to believe. So I can't thank you guys enough. I know it's not about all that, but it is nice to know that people are watching and, and they comment. So I really, really love you guys and appreciate everything. So Rise Frakes 34, we'll talk to you soon.